what is going on YouTube? Yes, what you just saw is for Warped Gamers. Uh, if you are not a part of the channel already, please definitely check it out. Um, for you guys watching this on Warped Gamers channel, thank you for watching. Uh, it's great to be back on this channel again. Uh, first channel to ever <clears throat> give me like a, a little shout out, to, uh, invite to ask me to come to uh, YouTube once I from when I started. Uh, it's just a, a great feeling to not only be recognized enough to get invited to help with a, a beginning YouTube channel. Um, you know, it just it was a, a really great feeling. And now knowing that they they still see my stuff and you know asking me to come back to do a video again, and I'm super stoked about it. So <clears throat> here it is. Um, we got a team deathmatch. Uh, it's my favorite thing to play. Um, my last video was hardcore team deathmatch on Black Ops 2 for Warped Gamers. Um, on Infinity Ward, I'm not big on hardcore. I do still play hardcore, um, just not as like religiously as I did in Black Ops 2. But <clears throat> speaking of Warped Gamers, I want to talk about Warped people today. <laughs> I thought it was kind of fitting. I never really thought about this person being warped, but I, I really do now. Um, I have this this person I know, this this lady who does a lot of a lot of things. Um, she, it's certain things that she's into. Uh, she does hair bows. She does. She's into pen up style. She's into uh, just there's just so many things that she's into. One of her friends that she became friends with. Um, uh, not too too long ago, maybe with a year, two years, and everything this person does now is something that my friend does. I mean, like it, it is ridiculous. Um, well, there's some lag on that video. Um, the let, uh, for, here's first example. My friend does hair bows and makes these. Uh, I don't know girly stuff that much. It makes these dresses. Um, tutus. There we go. Ha! I figured it out. The makes tutus. This other person started making tutus. Not only started making them, started selling them. Uh, my friend used to sell hair bows quite often and did a little bit of tutus. My friend taught her friend how to make them. Taught her how to make all this stuff, make hair bows. Now she's selling them selling tutus <clears throat> and that's like her main thing like she's the person who like invented the shit um so it's it, i don't understand how that you we were around somebody and they're like oh you uh do tutus she's like, and her friend says oh no she does hair bows i do tutus like you don't even know how to do that shit if it wasn't for her uh it, there's just so many so many things and I don't understand how people do that shit and I mean I understand trends I understand things becoming popular as a whole like I get that but and you you get different kinds of people you get people who will copy somebody exactly and it's like they don't have their own identity um, if you look at you know they, they can't think for themselves if you've ever seen the movie the Italian job uh, Ed, Edward Norton is in the movie, and he can't—he can't think how to spend money. It says uh, it's right at the beginning of the movie. Um, you got Jason Statham in it, Seth Green. All these guys have what they want. Seth Green wants a stereo that can blow women's clothes up. Jason Statham wants a car. Uh, this other dude wants a security system. You know, this guy says, you know, I don't know. I would just buy it all. I'd buy every one of the, each thing you guys said. Can't think for himself. Literally, that's how he's gonna function is by living that through other people's dreams, like buying their what they would buy. And there's got to be a difference between you and them. I mean, I understand wanting some of the same stuff, uh, especially when it comes to games. A lot of people want the same controller. A lot of people want this. When he gets down to classes, if you guys watch, most people don't run the same class. It doesn't even matter what it is. Some people, may, there's probably a lot of people out there who will watch. Uh, T. Martin's videos, Alia's videos, and only run the same classes that those guys run because they're amazing, and you know that's got to make me amazing. Every class is different for everybody, um, and I just I don't understand it. And then you have the, the you have the hipsters, the the hipsters slash haters. 
And this is where he gets just into a huge, giant, fucking ball of... Gah! The fuck is going on? And I... I don't understand it. I, I really don't. Like, you get hipsters who go against what's popular. Go for stuff that's older. And it's funny, because by doing this, they're doing what every hipster does. So, in... They're trying to be anti-social, I guess, by doing this, but at the same time, they're being extremely social because they're doing it. It's the same thing uh, that the haters, and I use my quotation fingers, uh, people hating on stuff together in groups. It's like, come the fuck out. Or you get the people who hate on something just because other people like it. I mean, it's... You could be like, I'm trying to think, there's, there's really, really good movies out there. And are really good games. And people hate on it just because it is so ecstatic. Uh, if you haven't played The Last of Us, The Last of Us is on PS3. Um, it's made by Naughty Dog. They did the Uncharted series. This game is like Game of the Year. I mean, I, I ha there's not one person getting a bad review of it. And then you see a few people like, this game's overrated. It deserves a 5 star, maybe a 4, not the 10 or you know 12 stars out of 12 that it, it got. I, when the game before the game came out, I had 12 different review companies, and the re everybody gave it their max level. Uh, like if it was out of five stars, it got five stars. If it was out of ten, it got ten. If it was out of twelve, it got twelve. And people are just like, uh, "Well, storyline doesn't mean it's a great game." Look, this year that's the game that beat out overall graphics and everything else. Good gameplay, good AI. And that's another thing. It's one of the hardest AIs that I had gone against. On, like, I didn't even play against the hardest mode. And I thought it was a damn good game. And made you think more. Uh, made you play the way you should play and survive. And it was... You know, it's not... I don't know. It, for a console game, I thought it was an amazing console game. And you have those people that are right there on the forums when it's... Um, I believe IGN gave it Game of the Year. And right there, on the bottom, highly overrated worst AI in gaming history. Okay, seriously, you gotta be out of your damn mind. And it's one of those people that you could probably ask the um, ask about Uncharted, and they'd probably say Uncharted's awesome, and then ask about The Last of Us and say it's awful and it's the worst AI in history. When they don't realize it's the same company that makes the game and it uses the same stuff. Now I'm I'm completely okay with people having their own opinion, and if they didn't like the game, they didn't like the game. But you cannot sit there and just say it is absolutely the worst game in history. I don't know. It's one of those f stupid fucking things where people just can't think for themselves or they automatically think against people just just to do it. Just to steer the pot, which sometimes can be fun, but I mean, it I don't know. I don't understand it. It's People need to get a mind of their own, I guess. So, that's just my thoughts. Um, thank you once again, Warped Gamers, for having me on your channel. I'm super ecstatic about it. If you guys haven't seen my last video, definitely check that out. Uh, on my channel, you can click on here and get right to it. I got more videos coming soon, so definitely subscribe. Stay classy, YouTube.